Hey everyone, Grant from Raider.io here. Welcome to Battlefield Banter, a brand new interview series where we dive into the heart of the action whilst uncovering the stories behind your favourite World of Warcraft creators. I'll be your guide as we embark on a thrilling journey through Plunderstorm. Today, I am joined by one of the most successful WoW players in history. A man who was in the conversation for the greatest tank of all time. Now, now, otherwise known as Robin, is a six times MDI champion, two times Great Push champion, and five time world first raider, with Method and later Echo. We're going to be conducting an interview whilst we try and get the win. So let's buckle up and try and make some memories on this battlefield. Robin, first question How mad on a scale of one to 10 are you that we're doing this five seconds after the alpha has come up? It, it, all good. I, I didn't want to play Alpha anyway. I'm nah, more of a classic that's... gamer these days, you know? I don't really I know. care about retail. Yeah, it's, it's all about SOD in, in my brain right now. Yeah? I, I was so... performing Honor here, but uh, we found some Honor in Plunder instead. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get loose. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Speaking about all the different game modes, let's talk about Plunderstorm, as we are going to be playing a little bit of that. Uh, how have you enjoyed it since it came out and you've competed a couple of times? How has Plunderstorm been for you overall? Um, I, I think Plunderstorm is great. I was very... <sighs> Hesitant, I guess, when it came mm. out. I was, I was very like another Fortnite WoW version, and I was very not sure if it was negative is the right word, but I was very uh, skeptic, I guess. Um, yeah. But then I, I, it took me, I think, two days before I even played my first game, and then that first night I played my first game, I was up till I don't know three, four a.m. and now like, one more game before bed, one more game, one more game. It's and... literally the exact same thing for Royben and Shella. They, no interest, yeah. didn't play it for days, and then 5 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, let's talk yeah. about Dragonflight, because it's been a big expansion for you in terms of, of, of the way that your career has gone. After Aberus, you yeah. stepped down from raiding with Echo, and you've been playing a lot more DPS now. Uh, now that the expansion is winding down overall, how's it been? How have you enjoyed Dragonflight on the whole? Uh, I think Dragonflight... It's a great expansion, actually. Um, it's a lot more casual friendly, I guess you can say. Mm. There's no no really grinds that you need to commit to. Uh, ways to uh, uh, grind, you know. But since I'm more of a, I wouldn't say I'm casual. I'm still top twenty, right? Yeah. But I'm playing two characters instead of ten, right? So yeah. you remember they were farming the seeds and everything, which is of course something you don't have to do at all, but they always find these grinds you can do right the first week or two uh, of a new patch. But overall, I'm, I'm kind of happy that there's a bit more, you know, laid back and uh, relaxed. Uh, but at the same time, you, you're you so used to always having to do something in yeah. WoW, you know what I mean? And then yes. when you don't have to do something, you're like, so what am I doing today? Yeah. I and, guess as a streamer, uh, that can be tricky too, right? Having permanent mm, content, it, even yeah. if it's an excuse, I guess. It's, it can make it uh, easier to go live or it, not. Yeah, exactly. It's more so the fact that, oh shit, I need to do my dailies today. Okay, let's start the stream and do the dailies. And you don't need to think yeah. about anything, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, when you don't have to do all this stuff, uh, you start to stream and you're like, oh, so what am I doing today? I guess we can do some M plus on X or Y character, right? So you just have to plan a bit more, I guess. But uh, mm. I, I really enjoy the more... Um, it's not, it's not, I don't think casual is the right word, but it's no more laid infinite back, right? grind. Yeah, a bit more yeah. laid back. You can choose and pick what you want to do uh, over doing whatever, you know, have to do Torghast on my six oh, uh, characters this week, you know? <laughs> I don't uh, want to talk so, about Torghast, man. Yeah, stuff like that. And then it was the whatever came after that. So Cor Corthia, I don't remember. Corthia, yeah, but, yeah, it was. Yeah. There's nothing like this where you need to farm something, you know, in yeah. the fight, which I think is. Uh, it's great, and actually, I hope they keep that within War Within as well. Mm. That there's, there's a lot of optional grinds because then grinding becomes a lot more enjoyable, at least for me. When That's I what know that Plunderstorm uh, is right. It's a, an optional grind for some. It's also fun to compete, but it's a, an optional grind for yeah. Transmog and things like that, which is a newer uh, a yeah, take. But, but still, Blizzard. don't you think it's funny that even though it's optional, people still find ways to yes. complain that you know, oh my god, I need to get renowned forty to get this. And yes, hundred percent. Yeah, you don't need uh, to. Yeah. You don't need to yeah, do anything. Exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Okay. So luckily for all the PVE, oh Jesus, uh, WoW players, uh, you Oops. still are. Yeah, they're, they're looking. We can probably um, fight this. If yeah, I guess, um, fight. Okay. Yeah, this guy's probably. I'm going on that guy. Oh, I got repelled. Okay, I need to. Uh, 
got a full heel off. Um, the, you're still competing in the MDI and the Great Push. And unfortunately, the last global finals didn't go your way with mandatory picking up the win. I want to know, after yes. so many years of dominance, without talking trash on anyone, what do you think was the reason you didn't, it wasn't as easy for you? Or it wasn't as free? I think we played too much, to be honest. We, we have never practiced as much as we did this mm. for this MDI because we felt the competition was higher than ever. Yeah. But we also never played this bad in a i don't remember the last time it was i was very angry at myself because i made a you know crucial mistake in the black rook hold yeah uh, which led to us losing the grand final right which is always yeah i died one time in an entire tournament it had to be that one game that mattered the most you know so of course Savage. you're really upset about that yourself um yeah but just oh, that's not i'm not gonna call anyone out in the team but no, basically everyone in the team just felt that they could have played a lot better throughout the tournament which I'm is kind of weird because normally when we play, sure, we always, you know, we're human, we make mistakes, right? But yeah, you've always been a relaxed team. Like, you know, you think of Zalia with like his feet on the desk yeah. and things like that. You know, it's always <laughs> the demeanor you guys have had. It's, it's, it makes you guys fun to watch. Uh, yeah, I, I just, it just didn't lick this. I, I don't know. There was just never clean gameplay, I guess. We just, yeah, we just never get it together in, in so many maps. We just made mistakes that we normally don't make you know a lot of people might make these mistakes when they actually play the you know an official game because yeah of course stuff. but Ross is kind of the other way around where we get the mistakes out of the way during practice and then we have clean games when it actually mm. matters you know uh, but this uh, this time around we just didn't have that and good to see uh, you're still really, uh, yeah but we, we all hate losing you know <laughs> yeah it's, oh it's, trust me i'm used to it um i, I think i think it's great for the esports scene though that the manager actually did win um because it builds you know if it's the same team yeah. keeps winning all the time it becomes yeah. quite you know boring and so in that yeah. sense it's good for the esports scene bad for but, us right but yeah of course yeah like you said no one ever wants to uh do you want to take that yeah um so you started in the last few months really dabbling in in classic and then uh, season of discovery i've seen you play a lot what is it about that mm -hmm. content that kind of calls to you as someone who's you know so good at the let's say more difficult content oh unlucky um it's more so that I'm a bit burnt out from retail, I guess. Okay. And I I, I just enjoy playing something different. Um, and and I, I could never, for example, main SOD as my main game because I don't think the I'm a person I need nice. this, you know. Uh, um, gameplay challenge, I guess we call it, but, but yeah. proper gameplay to feel satisfied, right? But yeah. then if I do it too much, like happened now last MDI, we really played 14, 15 hours a day, then are you really excited to go back after you've been playing and plus this much to to stream, you know, high keys and stuff like that? that, that that's mean. where, uh, for me, it becomes, you know, hard to find this motivation. It's actually, okay, I haven't streamed almost anything in the past month, but now I should go and stream, you know, high keys. But then yeah. you're so burnt out from playing so much M+, plus, which people haven't been watching, right? And then mm. that's where that's... SOD is perfect for me, because I can still stream WoW, even though it's a different version of WoW. And it almost feels like a different game. Because it, it is honestly very different, you know? The, the, it's, it's an older version. Yeah. It's completely different abilities you have. Um, the, the, I guess the negative thing about it is that I, I just I know that my viewers don't really want to watch this, and they want me you know, to play M+, plus and, and all that stuff. It's got to so be a balance, though, about... right? Yeah, like, you have to be happy. Course. Yeah, 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 of course. But I just feel bad about it, you know, because... Uh, hey. Late, yeah. We, we can go for this. Uh, he's on his own, he's on his own. Uh, maybe, yes, sir. Nope. Oh. No. Stand him on his thing. He's parked. One down. Yep. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, block it. Oh. I've got slice some wounds. Mm, I was gonna loot this stuff, okay? Before they do loot. Yeah, it. I've I've just got him again. Uh, I've got jump now as well. Ah, I didn't get him. He's gone. He's got barrel. Um, so WoW's got a lot of content coming up. You've got Miss Remix, the War Within Alpha started literally. 15 minutes ago, there's further phases yep. of Season of Discovery and Cataclysm Classic. Which one excites you most? Is it still the War Within? Uh, yeah, I would say it's the War Within. Um, even though I'm, I'm excited for SOD Phase 4, 
Oh, there's another squad here as well. Yeah. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Ah, oh, damn. Right. Okay, uh, so, yeah, the, right now you say the war within, that raiding and, and high M plus grind still, still you're prevailing for. Okay. Okay, so this is. Like, no, go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, Kata, I'm actually not that excited about. Oh, um, I love Kata. Yeah, me too, but I just feel like I don't have enough time, and it's not my yeah. priority, you know? There's a lot of game modes, right? Uh, and it's the one which is completely original, obviously, Season of Discovery. You've got new abilities and new changes and things like that, and The War Within is new. Mop Remix is a little bit more modern. Okay, this is a question, uh, our lovely uh, editor asked and that is what is it about vengeance d8 vengeance d8 that you just don't like what is it that makes you dislike that spec what is your main issue with it my main issue is um that it's actually just bugged it doesn't function the threat on yeah yeah so basically i don't know if you guys play vengeance demon hunter but so i do i do okay so if you do damage to mobs with either Fell Devastation, any Sigil, Immolation Aura, or uh, the Hunt initial as well. So anything before your first uh, cleave yeah, or, you, or spirit bombs? No, if, if you, so let's say you hit the mob with this ability, mm -hmm. and you are not in combat with them, this doesn't register as aggro. Yeah, that's mad. Uh, <laughs> and that's the main issue where course you you if, if you run in with the malaysian aura but you haven't body pulled the pack mm. then you get in combat with the immolation aura for example but you have you you actually have zero aggro on the mobs you're in combat with it, it's like you don't exist you're just running through so if a, a person uses anything it can be a feather from a priest on the ground as count as will you know take aggro it, it will, yes it will take aggro it's over so you and and that is my oh. concern where like since it's bug, it's just, you know, uh, really annoying to play around. Mm. And it shouldn't be, you know, working this way. And you might want to think that they have um, fixed it, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that like a, that's a crazy big bug, especially because the spec yeah. does so much damage as well. So, like, but you use a lot of different abilities. Yeah, I can see that being really frustrating. I believe you may have uh, caught a case of dead here. Okay. Move on to some questions about streaming. And I want to say, first of all, that if someone has never watched your stream, I can't begin to articulate how fun your stream is. Some of the hardest I've ever, ever laughed in my life is at your stream. Oh, I just got a mount. That's nice. Um, what's your favorite thing about streaming? Um, I think starting streaming, it was definitely like about showing showing what I can do as a player. Mm. You know, mechanically, doing like you know as high keys as possible, showcasing you know who I am, what I can do, and all that stuff. But like last few years, that is not so important anymore. Like, if, for example, you know, I, I go with it, I like to call myself master of depletes. Uh, for example, you know, I, I straight up don't care if I deplete or time keys, and and if people think I you know made a mistake or play bad, it's it's more so to make people enjoy their time and put a laugh on people's faces uh, more yeah. so than try harding because i feel like i've proved enough times that if i actually do play uh, to my best extent and, and i fully try hard with everything i do it, it is quite you know I'm, I'm up there for sure you know what i mean yeah yeah. That's... and for me it's just more important to have a good time laugh around uh, and yeah just just enjoy you know whatever it is i'm doing right over just focusing so much on on not making mistakes and and yeah uh, all that stuff um if you're cool we'll queue up for one more i've got a couple more mm -hmm. questions and then uh yeah. we'll we'll call it so uh i want to speak to you about Jinji, uh because your relationship with Jinji is pretty legendary you know there's there's compilations yeah. there's all kinds of things if you had to sum him up in three words what would they be we can bleep them uh well, the first one that comes to mind is um, uh, very, very, well, very positive. Uh, positive, mm. I guess. Second would definitely have to be cringe. And the third one... Steve Brother. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, like positive, cringe. 
uh, driven, I, I guess he's extremely driven with everything he does. Uh, yeah. Very, very mind goal focused, no matter what it is in life, com competing. Commits. Just... Yeah. Sorry, what? Everything he does, he commits to with everything, yeah, exactly. be it yeah, fitness, yeah, yeah. Yeah. the game. And it's very nice everything. to have a person like that around you, you know, because yeah. he also pushes you into being more, you know, driven and. and... I'm with you. So, my next question is uh, about players that retire. Quite often when a player retires from the Waste World Fest, they'll go into casting. And as I you know, someone who's done that myself now for many years, you're like the exact kind yeah. of person who would just nail it. Have you ever considered trying? Is it something you, you want to try before you, you know, the day is mm, when we're done? I mean, I, I have casted, for example, MDI. Um, mm. I casted, was it? I think it was last MDI in Shadowlands. Uh, the uh, yeah, whatever that the, the last tournament, the last two teams that were entered through the what's it called that uh, last stand, I think. Yeah, the last stand. Yeah, that's the one. Last stand. Yeah, so I, I casted that, and it was really fun. Uh, my issue is that I've also been, you know, in talks about you know potentially casting Raceful for example. Mm. It's just you, you like being be at home as well, at, right? Uh. Ah, uh, not really, but I have okay. a social battery that, you know... Yeah, okay. Same as me. Enjoy. Yeah, and, and my issue yeah. is that if I feel like I can never get away and just be by myself, yeah. where there's yeah. no one watching and I'm just in my own, you know... Uh, yeah. Then I, I, it charges out very fast. So, for example, this yeah. latest, latest race, which we might be referring to, was that it felt like wherever I went, there were either people watching me or there was cameras in my face for yeah. every single minute I was awake. And, and then yeah. I just very quickly I understand that one. exhausted. Yeah. I am very similar. It's hard to be this animated and this. When people look to you as someone who's an entertainer, which you most definitely are, it's hard to keep that up all day. So I'm with you there. Okay. Um, I, I can't let this interview end as we go on to sort of IRL questions now without talking about pizza. Uh, I've asked everyone I've spoke to so far about what toppings they would be uh, if, if their life was a pizza. Uh, talk to me about your perfect pizza because I, I can't get You've over this. You've seen it, no? Had oh, yeah, I have, but I don't know what's on it. It's just not right. Oh, so, well, the basic is, of course, uh, cheese and tomato sauce. That is That's the, correct. The, yeah, and then... Uh, we can start easy with some uh, peanuts, oh. and what? then we add the pineapple. Uh -huh. uh, then you slice some banana as well. Then, then after that, you put on some uh, thinly sliced beef. Okay. Uh, and the loin that that's a bit even better. But it doesn't have to be. Uh, top that off with curry powder, and then I don't know how I pronounce this in English, but bearnais sauce. Bearnais. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know, yeah. I, know, I know what you mean. I don't know I think it's hollandaise, isn't it? Is no, that no, what it is no, in English? No, no, okay. no, that's like a completely different sauce. It's, oh, okay. uh, it should be bearnaise something, uh, I think. Okay, yeah, I, I, I yeah. This. I'm not that strong. Uh, I'm strong. Okay. Maybe I'm not strong. Got one of them. Maybe I'm weak. Uh, I got windstorm. That guy's solo. Yeah, we got him, we got him. Yeah, he's dead. He's ours. Where nice. Where did that guy go? Yeah, he turned invisible, he's there. Yeah. I got him. Oh, God! Yeah. <laughs> Didn't see that boy coming. Okay. Um. So, uh, earlier this year, there was a tweet that went uh, quite um, viral, and it was pretty controversial, I think, and it was that... People that you meet online aren't real friends. I want to talk or I'll ask you if there's someone you can think of that you met online or met through this journey uh, that had a really profound impact on you and kind of disproves the statement that online friends aren't real friends. Yeah, I think all my teammates are people I met through. Mm. Uh, I mean, especially Jinji. Me, me and Jinji are probably the, the, the closest uh, in, the, in the team, to put it that way. But uh, all the people in my in my team are people I would call my you know, be like friends by this point. We've met so many times, we've gone through so many journeys together, you know. Uh, yeah. And we just know each other. Travel the world, right? Many. That as well, yeah. I've been to Sydney, we've been to, uh, what's it called? Anaheim. Uh, yeah. USA. London. A lot of... You were, in... long... were, you, were you in the Red Bull uh, arena in London? No, I was For the Bristol World first? No, you weren't, you weren't no, here for that. No, no. Yeah, I think I played from 
home, maybe. Yeah, but I think was, Yeah, well. it's, it's, for sure, people you meet online can for sure become real life friends. I mean, maybe not in the first, you know, few months you, you use. Yeah. Uh, spend time together, right? But I think there's a lot of uh, proof that online friends are definitely subject of a very, very you know, long lasting, good IRL relation. Yeah. I and agree. It, the issue is as well, I guess, that you don't really. I think that's the main issue, maybe, that you don't really know who the person truly is until you meet in real mm. life. Because it's easy to be some more, not, not a yeah. different person online, but I'm, for example, I, I'm i quite laid back in real life. Um, but yeah. when I'm in front of my computer at home, I'm, you know, a big troll. Um, yeah. So, you know, I get I'm, you. I'm not exactly, I'm not, I'm not a different person, but. No, when I'm you, home in my safe space, you know, I'm, I'm a bit, you yeah. know... Uh, you turn the volume you know, to 11, right? Like, yeah. Uh, that's the way I've always yeah, described just, it. When you're on a yeah. camera and, you know, you want to be entertaining, you find a piece of yourself and you turn it up. The piece mm, that you think not, is entertaining. Not, even, not, not only when I'm on, on camera, I just feel like I'm a bit no. more... Just comfortable uh, being at home? Chi chi no, maybe like a bit more childish, maybe. I'm yeah, like, I, I don't know what the right word is. I'm a yeah. relaxed child, you know, and then... But I would not, not do this when, you know, in, in real life I'm with my friends or something, you know? It's a bit... Uh, I'm with I, I don't know how to describe it, really. It's just... Uh, it's a bit different. And I, and I yeah. don't think I'm alone with this particular thing. No, no, no. I, I think, think everyone. It's... I think yeah, everyone yeah, exactly. does. Yeah. To a degree, at least. Yeah. Uh, so, I want to talk about Sophie, who is your fiancé, if I'm correct. Uh, she's yes. just a, a really, really great person and, and you guys have always had some really cool uh, adventures and, and travel stories and stuff. Do you have anything really fun coming, coming up in the not too distant future? Any experiences um, with Sophie? Well, she wants me to come with her to Bulgaria because it's her favorite cool. techno d DJ. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really into techno too much me myself. <laughs> I like to listen to it a bit, but I'm not, you know, this one who's yeah. knows the name and stuff, right? Yeah. And that is two days after Cataclysm comes out, so oh. yeah, I just I haven't. She is for sure going, but I haven't decided if I'm okay. going. Um, and uh, yet. next, I guess my final question is about Finn, which is the mm -hmm. the puppy you got. What breed is Finn? Because I know I'll get it wrong if I try it's myself. Shiba. Shiba Inu, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Inu means dog in Japanese. Oh really? I, you know, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's it's really it's embarrassing. Shiba, uh, but uh, people say Shiba Inu, right? So it's, it's yeah. Really, um, so I know he had surgery not too long ago. Uh, how's he doing? Has he recovered yeah. well? Yeah, he's, he's, oh, uh, that hurt. very good. Uh, yeah, no. said, I think, so, yeah. Good. Yeah, okay. Uh, as I die and I think you will probably be dying very shortly. I want to know where I'm can people well, find you? Be. Good. Where can people support <laughs> you? Where will you be and what do you have going on in the not too distant future? Um, yeah, so yeah, I mean, you can always find me on my stream. Uh, I've we'll tried it actually below. lately, uh, I have used social media a lot less because I feel like it's just been impacting me in a negative way. I feel like I've been wasting a lot of time and, yeah. and it's not always like positive, you know, things you read and stuff like that. So I've also, I feel like Twitter have gotten boring, but I, I used to watch, you know, I've been on Instagram and Twitter a lot uh, on my phone. Now I just, these days I just try, I, I don't really log on to these apps that much anymore um but for sure i'm, I'm still on twitter i'm not tweeting as much as i used to but uh, from time to time for sure uh regarding my stream and what i'm gonna be doing in the future then of course war within uh alpha just released so i'll be playing a lot of war within i'm definitely trying is it level 80 war within now i think it is right yeah i'll, yeah. I'll go for world first the highest level in war within 100 oh, yes. um Sadly, I'm not doing the Kata race. A lot of people probably expected me to go for World Force 85 in Cataclysm. Sadly, not enough time. Mm. Uh, then Season 4 coming up now, The Great Push. So it's going to be a lot of M Plus content. I'm going to be focusing on that. Uh, and then after that, it's probably maybe before, actually, Season of Discovery Phase 4, which I'm really excited yes. about as well. That's going to be really fun, actually, playing max level in Season of Discovery. Um, mm. So yeah, that's probably what's on my agenda. It's going to be a lot of gaming this summer, which is going to be very fun, but... Sophie might be a bit upset because it won't be that much traveling uh, until maybe late summer. Uh, we'll see when War Within releases. We can squeeze something in between. Um, okay. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for sure. 
It's a fun summer coming up with all Blizzard events, right? Uh, now yes. I'm going to let you go and play the Alpha because I know you must be desperate to get in and get involved. Thank you so much for hanging out. All of now mm -hmm. social media is going to be below. One final thing for me, Robin, if you don't mind. My best friend mm -hmm. Desti pronounces your name as Neo. That's how he said it for years. And he goes, no, that is what it is. It's Neo. Can you please? He says, oh, are you watching Neo? Or have you got, oh, you know, I'm using Neo UI. Can you just tell him to stop just once and for all? I've never heard that actually. Usually it's people in NA that they, they swap the A and O so it becomes right. Noah for, for some weird reason. I guess it's Finnish. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it, oh, it's finished? He's, no, it's fin it? he's Finnish. Oh, no, he's, but yeah, yeah, but that's what I said. That <laughs> he, I've never heard anyone say, uh, what's he saying? Neo. 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 I've never heard N -A -Y -O. that. Yeah, N-A-Y-O. That's, that's how we pronounce it. That's awful. Yeah, isn't I, it? I mean, I'll probably understand that it's me he's referring to, I guess, but uh, yeah, that's, no. yeah, but, that's weird. Good. I'm glad we could get it out and finally settled so he'll <laughs> never say it again. Thank you so much for joining me today and thank you everyone for watching. If there's anyone you'd like to see featured in our next Battlefield banter, leave a comment down below and for more exclusive Raider IO content, follow us on Twitter and YouTube and make sure to join the Discord server. I'll see you in the next episode of Battlefield Banter.